All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to handle this particular error message that pops up when you want to play Resident Evil's 8 Village. So what this is telling us is that Resident Evil 8 needs the WM Video Decoder codec installed in order to run this game properly. And it just wants you to know that, and then once we're done, we can hit, yes, I accept the above message, and we can hit exit. Now, this might not actually mean anything. I can run this game just fine without having this problem. But uh, for some reason, when I reinstalled it onto my new computer, it gave me this message, so I figured I'd make sure everything was installed just to be safe. So the first thing that we can do is make sure that Windows, like, movie player, media player, is installed on our system. So to do that, all we have to do is type into the Windows search bar, manage optional features, which will bring up our settings panel. And then in here, you wanna make sure that Windows Media Player is installed. If it's not, we'll go up to add feature and we'll type in media located on the list. Like let's just grab this, click that, and then click install. And then it'll install the media player. In fact, I'll just uninstall it real quick and reinstall it just to show you. Type in media. And if you type in media and there's a media pack available as well, make sure you download that too. That tends to include missing codecs that other parts of your computer might also want or need. So it's good to just make sure all that stuff is installed. So we'll click install. Oh, install failed. Why, why did install fail? That's really weird. Oh, it's because a reboot is required for it to be properly uninstalled. Well, let's just make sure media. Install. Okay, well, it wants me to restart, so I guess I'll have to do that. But make sure Windows Media Player is installed on your system to make sure that those codecs are working. And if it's still giving you trouble or it's crashing when you start it up and you're not sure that the codecs are properly installed, the second option is you can grab a codec pack that's done by an open source group. This is the K-Lite codec pack. And what that is, is it's made by the same people that make that free video player, VLC media player that a lot of people like to use, or some of the people. And it's free, and you can just come in here, click on Download Basic, click on Server 1, 2, or 3, just to download it. Do a quick install, and that should install all of these different video file types onto your computer to make sure that they're working properly so that you can play basically any video type in the history of ever on your computer. And then you can try it again. And if it's still not behaving itself, the final methodology that you can do is right click this, go to properties, go to local files, and you can verify the integrity of your game files to see if anything in them is corrupted, damaged, or otherwise having issues so that you can know if you need to reinstall something. And generally for most of these pieces of software, if it detects a broken file, it'll automatically download the replacement for you so that you don't have to worry about it. Um, if it doesn't, or it doesn't detect anything and it's still giving you trouble, I would still recommend right-clicking it, going to manage, and uninstalling and reinstalling the software because sometimes when you're downloading things onto your computer, something in the download process breaks, something else gets all borked up. So the easiest way that you have to fix that is to simply re-download it to make sure everything behaves itself. So to uninstall this, all I have to do is right-click Manage, Uninstall, and then click it again and tell it to install by clicking the big blue Install button in the center of your screen. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick little step-by-step -step guide on some of the things that you can do to fix the codec error that pops up for Resident Evil 8 Village. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.